In the vast expanse of our universe, where billions of galaxies swirl through the cosmic ocean, there exists an object of such immense proportions that it defies our comprehension. Ton 618, the largest known black hole in the universe. A cosmic monster so massive that it contains the equivalent of 66 billion suns crushed into a single point, creating a tear in the fabric of space-time that would engulf our entire solar system many times over. This is the story of a cosmic giant that challenges our understanding of physics and the very formation of our universe. Our journey begins in 1957 at the Tonantzintla Observatory in Mexico. During a routine survey of the night sky, astronomers spotted what they initially believed to be nothing more than a faint blue star, an unremarkable pinprick of light among countless others. For a decade, this object remained catalogued simply as TON618, named after the observatory where it was discovered. But in the late 1960s, further observations revealed something extraordinary. This wasn't a star at all, but rather one of the most luminous objects ever detected, a quasar. Sitting on the border between the constellations Canes Venatici and Coma Berenices, this distant beacon shines with the power of 140 trillion suns, despite being located an astonishing 10.4 billion light-years from Earth. What makes this quasar shine so brilliantly? At its heart lurks the true cosmic leviathan, a supermassive black hole of unprecedented scale. The numbers associated with Tun 618 are simply staggering. With a mass estimated at 66 billion times that of our Sun, it represents the upper limit of what scientists believe black holes can achieve. To put this in perspective, if our Sun, which could fit over a million Earths inside it, were placed next to Tun 618, it would appear as insignificant as a grain of sand beside Mount Everest. The black hole's event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing can escape, spans over 1,000 astronomical units in radius. Consider this. If Ton 618 were placed at the center of our solar system, its event horizon would extend far beyond the orbit of Pluto. By the time you reached our most distant planet, you would have traversed less than 5% of the distance from the center of the black hole to its edge. Light itself, traveling at 300,000 kilometers per second, would take weeks to cross from one side of this cosmic abyss to the other. What we actually observe when we look at Ton 618 is not the black hole itself, which by definition emits no light, but rather the brilliant quasar it powers. As matter spirals toward the black hole, it forms a vast, spinning accretion disk of superheated gas and dust. The immense gravitational forces compress and heat this material to millions of degrees, causing it to emit radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum. The energy released in this process is almost beyond comprehension. Ton 618's quasar outshines entire galaxies, making it one of the brightest sustained light sources in the known universe. While supernovae can briefly outshine quasars, they fade after a few weeks. In contrast, Ton 618's cosmic lighthouse has likely been blazing for millions of years and will continue to do so as long as there's material to feed its insatiable appetite. Despite this extraordinary luminosity, Ton 618 appears as merely a faint speck in our most powerful telescopes, a testament to the truly vast distances that separate us from this cosmic behemoth.
Perhaps the most perplexing aspect of Ton 618 is not just its size, but when it achieved such enormous proportions. The light we observe from this distant quasar began its journey toward Earth 10.4 billion years ago, when the universe itself was only about 3.3 billion years old. This presents astronomers with a profound puzzle. How could a black hole grow to such extraordinary size in what is, cosmologically speaking, such a short time? The traditional understanding of black hole growth through the collapse of massive stars and subsequent mergers with other black holes simply doesn't provide enough time for Ton 618 to reach its observed mass. Some scientists propose that Ton 618 may have formed from the direct collapse of enormous clouds of gas in the early universe, bypassing the stellar phase entirely. Others suggest it might be the product of multiple black hole mergers occurring in rapid succession, or perhaps it bent the rules of accretion, somehow feeding at rates far beyond what current models predict is possible. Whatever the explanation, Tun 618 stands as a cosmic anomaly that challenges our understanding of how structure forms in our universe. There is, theoretically, a limit to how large black holes can grow. As material falls toward a black hole, it heats up and releases radiation. This radiation exerts pressure on incoming material creating a self-regulating mechanism that limits the rate at which a black hole can feed, what astronomers call the Eddington Limit. By calculating this feeding rate and multiplying it by the known age of the universe, scientists estimate that the theoretical maximum mass for a black hole should be around 50 billion solar masses. Ton 618 at 66 billion solar masses appears to exceed this limit, another cosmic puzzle that suggests either our understanding of black hole growth is incomplete or Ton 618 formed through some extraordinary process. Some theoretical physicists propose even more exotic origins, such as primordial black holes formed from density fluctuations in the earliest moments after the Big Bang, or direct collapse of large concentrations of dark matter. These theories remain speculative, but objects like Ton 618 push scientists to expand the boundaries of our cosmic understanding. Ton 618 is more than just a cosmic curiosity. Studying such extreme objects helps astronomers refine models of galaxy formation and evolution. The relationship between supermassive black holes and their host galaxies appears to be fundamental, with the mass of the central black hole correlating strongly with properties of the surrounding galaxy. Advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are allowing astronomers to peer deeper into quasars like Ton 618, studying the composition and behavior of material as it approaches the event horizon. Meanwhile, gravitational wave observatories may soon detect the ripples in space-time caused by mergers of black holes that could eventually grow to the size of Ton 618. Each new observation and theoretical breakthrough brings us closer to understanding these cosmic giants and their role in shaping our universe. Ton 618 stands as a cosmic extreme, a monument to the extraordinary forces that shape our universe. From its humble discovery as a faint blue speck to its identification as the largest known black hole, this cosmic leviathan continues to challenge our understanding of physics and astronomy.
as we gaze across 10.4 billion light years of space and time to observe this distant giant, we're reminded of how much remains to be discovered in our vast cosmos. Ton 618 may currently hold the title of the universe's largest known black hole, but in the immensity of space, even greater leviathans might be lurking in the cosmic depths, waiting to be discovered. In a universe filled with wonders, Tun 618 reminds us that reality often exceeds even our most ambitious imaginations, and that the cosmos still has many secrets to reveal.